Hey, welcome back to World Entertainment, and it looks like Eddie Murphy may not be done playing Axel Foley, as he's hinting now that Beverly Hills 5 may be on its way. Yet, we're about to get Beverly Hills Cop 4, or as it's titled, Beverly Hills Cop Axel F, coming on Netflix, and now him and Jerry Bruckheimer have spoken about a fifth movie. So let's have a look at the article that says this. So fans get ready to fans get ready to do the Neutron dance once again. In less than two weeks, Eddie Murphy returns as Detroit's favorite foul-mouthed detective in Beverly Hills Cop Axel F. And the fourth installment in the film franchise certainly won't be the last if Murphy and producer Jerry Bruckheimer have anything to say about it. While Netflix declined to comment, per Variety, both Murphy and Bruckheimer are optimistic about more Axel Foley adventures being made in the future with a fifth Beverly Hills Cop installment seemingly on the horizon. Murphy said, they're developing it. If it comes together, we'll be doing another one. And Bruckheimer added, we have a couple of stories in mind. So this isn't just that they're talking about, oh yeah, if this one does well, we're definitely doing it. They're developing it. So it sounds like they have confidence in this next movie, but they're already developing it. But it says then, it's been 30 years since Axel Foley last wore his trademark Detroit Lions jacket to fight crime in Beverly Hills. That's insane. 30 years ago is when the last one came out. The third movie was quite a disappointment though, both critically and financially. However, both Beverly Hills Cop and Beverly Hills Cop 2 were bona fide hits, but Murphy didn't know that the original film would catch on like it did when he first portrayed the iconic character. And in the same interview, Murphy said this, It didn't go well. A lot of times at industry screenings, they don't laugh. I thought the movie was going to be horrible. I was with John Landis, uh, and he was like, no, it was great. I thought they hated it. When I went and saw it with a real audience, and then I saw the real reaction to it, but the very first time, it was scary. So, you hear there that when they did test screenings with the studios and stuff, there was no laughter. They were all kind of sitting there, straight-faced and whatnot, and Murphy thought, uh-oh, this isn't going to work. And the director, John Lauren, uh, uh, John Landis and stuff was like, don't worry, these are just the morons. Wait till you see the real audience. And it says, Beverly Hills Cop did succeed and made 314.6 million at the worldwide box office. That's a huge number for back in the 80s. You know, that's quite a substantial number there. And it says, and now 40 years after the seminal film, first premiered, Murphy is returning with co-stars George Reynold, John Aston, and Paul Reiser. Plus, the sequel is even bound to have a little lemon twist as Serge will be back. And according to the film's director, Mark Malloy, uh, Murphy is still brilliant at improvising. So it sounds like there's going to be a quite a bit of ad-lib to this, which is good as well. But it definitely sounds like they got high hopes for this movie it sounds like they've a lot of confidence in it if they're saying hey look we're already developing a fifth movie you know and the people wonder like why did it take eddie murphy so long to do a new one it's because he hated the third movie and it's not just that he hated it i was like that's it i'm done forever with the character his whole motive was there's no way we can do one as bad as the third one ever again if the script's not right, I'm not doing it. And they constantly were handing him scripts and he was looking at them and was just constantly saying, this isn't good enough. Uh-uh, no way. This is in line with the third movie. I'm not doing it. And then, of course, they did try the ill-fated TV series where they were going to follow his son. Uh, I think he pre uh, cameoed in the pilot episode and the pilot got rejected outright. The studios were like, no. So the plug was pulled on that one and it's interesting that in the show it was going to be his son that it follows and in this new movie it's a daughter he has i don't know whether he has a son or not 
Uh, but we know he has a daughter in this one. But it sounds like we could possibly be getting even more Beverly Hills Cop movies. I'm still interested to know how Netflix is the one doing it and making it and stuff when they were Paramount movies. I, 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 I have not seen anything anywhere explaining that. Unless they bought the rights to it, I don't know. But Beverly Hills Cop Axel F out in a couple of weeks. And if it does really well, I'm sure it'll probably do quite well, especially on the first week of it being out. We may possibly be getting Beverly Hills Cop 5. We'll have to wait and see. So with that, I'll leave it there for this one. Cheers, and I'll catch you in the next one.